When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. And I'm thinking about It has been two years, seven months, and 28 days since we spoke our first words to each other outside that crazy classroom. No matter how much time passes, I am still amazed at how beautiful and special you are to me. I have never known a more loving, kind, and patient person. Well, unless, of course, it's, it's dinner time. We have already experienced so much together in such a short amount of time. We've traveled together, taught each other new things, learned from each other, raised two adorable puppies, endured loss, and had so much joy. But with every day that passes, we have grown stronger together. One day, many years from now, when the children we are going to love together are grown, and I am too old to remember your favorite recipes, and you forget to put love notes in my lunchbox, we will still have each other to love and hold. But until then, we have a wonderful life to experience together and I am so glad to have my best friend and cherished bride at my side. Every day, I am impressed and inspired by everything that you do and everything that you are. My vow to you today and for the rest of my life is to be the best chef, masseuse, chauffeur, grocery bag carrier, cuddler, future dad, partner, and husband I possibly can be for you. And I promise to love you more and more every second of every day. Love, David. I do believe in fate and destiny. I feel like everything in my life has led me to you. My choices, my heartbreaks, my regrets, everything. And when we're together, my past seems worth it all. Because if I had done one thing differently, I might have never met you. You are my best friend, my anchor, my superman, my lover, my life's passion, my heart's fulfillment, and our daddy doodle. I vow to binge watch Survivor episodes with you when you are sick. I vow to remove my judgy eyes when I hear WWF rerun episodes every night when you cook. I vow to love all the meals you make other than your chicken fried rice. I vow to still grab your butt even when you're old and wrinkly. I vow to be there in sickness and in health. I vow to fiercely be in love with you in all of your forms, now and forever. And I vow to never forget that what we have is a once in a lifetime kind of love. I love you, David. Maybe we found love.